Hello everybody and welcome to part 10 of our machine learning tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be talking about is we've been talking about linear regression and we've got to the point where we could calculate the best fit line in our Python code. But now the question is, how good of a fit is our best fit line? How do we determine the accuracy? Right? So the way that we determine accuracy is through R squared or the coefficient of determination. And the coefficient of determination is calculated using what's known as squared error. So first we need to figure out what the heck squared error is, and then we can calculate R squared or the coefficient of determination. So uh, to exemplify this, consider you know, you've got uh, two graphs, and then you've got some plots on those graphs. And then what you want to do is uh, draw the best fit line. Okay, so something like uh, like this, and then I have no idea, something like this. <laughs> right? And if I asked you which one is a better fit, uh, you would say the, the one on the right. Uh, and then if I asked why is that the best fit, you might think for a moment, but you would probably come up with, well, the, the dots are closer to the line on the one on the right as they are, uh, closer than they are the one on the left anyways. Now, of course, we, we don't have any ticks on our axes here, and so I might say that uh, the one on the left, we're actually zoomed in really far, uh, <laughs> and uh, they're actually much closer, so you don't really know. But, but really, it's, it's how good of the fit is it? How good of the fit is the best fit line? How good of your fit is your model to your data set? So it's very relative to your data set. And you'll see more why in just a moment. So we know it's the distance. So, so, so what, how do we actually calculate this? Well, we use squared error. So we've got a graph here, and then we got some data points, some beautiful data points. And we have our best fit line. And the way that we calculate squared error is we say the error is the distance between the point and the, line, and the best fit line. And then what we say is it's not just error. We want to square that value. So we want to do squared error is, you know, E squared. <laughs> okay. So you might ask, why are we squaring it, right? Well, in this case, the distance, right? In one case, the distance might be positive. In another case, the distance might be negative. So one reason why we square it is so that we're only dealing with positive values. You might then ask, why is it E squared and not like absolute value of E? Well, we want to square it because what if you had a point that was like way out here? That would be an outlier. And your linear data set should not have an outlier uh, because we only want to do linear regression on linear data, right? That, that only makes sense. So we square the error because we want to... Um, we want to penalize for outliers. So then you might ask, well, why not um, using to the power of 4 or 6 or 18 for that matter? You could use these other ones. If you want to penalize for uh, outliers, you could use a bigger, uh, a bigger value there if you want to penalize even heavier um, for outliers. It just so happens that the standard is going to be squared error. And if you're not using squared error, uh, and maybe you're, you're publishing something publicly, either in a paper or maybe you've got um, some data, uh, some sort of module in Python or something, you'd want to alert people to the fact that you are not doing it the way that most people do it. Okay, so that is squared error. Now, how do we calculate the coefficient of determination, or R squared? So R squared is calculated in the following. So R squared equals... And it is 1 minus, and it's 1 minus the squared error. And generally, you're going to see squared error denoted as SE. So it's the squared error of the Y hat line. What the heck is the Y hat line? Remember, Y hat, best fit, regression line, all the same thing. Divided by the squared error of the mean of the y's. And that's the mean of the y's of your data set. So, so what might that actually look like? The mean of your y's might be that. So it's just a, a simple straight line. And what we're trying to do is compare the accuracy of that line to the accuracy of like the best fit line. 
And obviously the best fit line is almost certainly going to be better than the mean of the Ys, but we want it to be like way better. <laughs> okay. So looking at R squared and the calculation of R squared, what what's like a what's a good value, right? Like what do we think might be a good value versus what do we think might be a bad value? So let's consider a value like let's say R squared equals um, 0 0.8. How would we arrive at 0 0.8? Well, we would know that in order for R squared to be 0 0.8, it would have to be um, the squared error of the Y hat line divided by the squared error of the mean of the Ys would have to be like this equation here would have to be equal to 0.2, right? That's, that's the only way we could get to, to one minus what is 0.8. So how, what would be an example of this, this equation here being 0.2? Well, we would find that we would need the squared error, let's say of y, um, maybe, maybe the squared error of the y hat line is two and the squared error of the mean of the y's is 10. Okay, equals. So if that was the case, we, we were saying, you know, the squared error of the y hat line is actually significantly lower than the squared error of the mean of the y's. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, that's, that's a pretty good thing. We, we would prefer it to be even lower than that, but well, you know, that's pretty good. So that means this data is probably pretty linear. Right, so it's it's so an, an R squared of 0.8 is is pretty good. What if your R squared was like 0.3, for example? So if R squared, for example, was uh, 0.3, how would we arrive maybe at that equation? Well, we would need the uh, squared error divided by or the squared error of the y hat divided by the square of the mean of the y's. We would need that to be 0.7, right? And we could get that by, you know, 7 over 10. And now the squared error of the y hat is a lot closer to the squared error of the mean of the y's. So obviously this is, this is more negative. So we want the r squared value to be high. Um, how high is kind of determined by you. Uh, but the accuracy in this case of our model is let's say we're, we're going to call it 0 0.8 that is the r squared value so it's not percent accuracy it is it is the r squared it's the coefficient of determination that is the value so now that we know what the calculation for r squared is and we know what squared error is and we know how to calculate the y hat line we've already done that we know how to calculate the mean of the y's we haven't done that necessarily um, actually we have done that because that was part of our, um, our best fit line calculation. So we've done that. We know how to do everything here so we can definitely calculate this in Python. So that is what we are going to be doing in the next video. If you have questions, comments, concerns up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time.